Welcome to the ClickSense Beginners Workshop video series. In this video, we are going to get you set up and briefly illustrate the application that you will build. We'll be using ClickSense Cloud, Click's solution for small to medium enterprises. Let's take a look at where ClickSense Cloud fits into the overall Click product portfolio. Click's portfolio of business intelligence software is built on the powerful Kix associative engine. This engine is lightning fast, extremely flexible and unique to Click. We will demonstrate some of its unique properties in a moment. The Click Analytics platform is a set of modern web-based APIs built on top of the Kix engine. These allow you to build almost any database solution within Click, a customer portal or reporting and analytics in a third-party software platform for example. On top of these APIs is built ClickSense. ClickSense comes in three flavours. ClickSense Desktop, which you can download for free and run on your PC for as long as you like. ClickSense Cloud, which we'll be working with today, and ClickSense Enterprise, our highly scalable enterprise platform for analytics and business intelligence. To get started with ClickSense Cloud, go to click.com, click on the Try or Buy link, select ClickSense Cloud, and then fill out the registration form. You will also need to download the workshop files and other materials that are available in the link in the description of this YouTube video. Once you've registered, you'll receive an email with a link to log in to Click Cloud. After logging into the Cloud platform, you'll see an interface much like this. Note that ClickSense Cloud is constantly being updated, so the capabilities you see in this video may differ by the time that you actually log in. The first thing you want to do is upload the completed application that's packaged up with the materials you downloaded. Download those materials as mentioned and unzip to a folder and you'll see an apps directory. This is the workshop file which we'll upload to our Click Cloud instance. I'm going to move this window over here for the moment and then come to Click Cloud and click on New App. This presents me with two options. I can either create an application directly in Cloud or I can upload an app. We'll create an application in Cloud in a moment. Let's upload our completed app. And from here you can either use the file system and the button there to go and find your file or simply drag and drop onto the dialog like so. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this may take a moment or two. Our application has now uploaded to the My Work folder. My Work is where all applications that you have built but not yet shared with other users will be located. My Stream is a folder where applications will end up once you publish them out to a shared stream. To publish an app, you can just simply right click on it and select Publish. All users who you have invited to share your ClickSense cloud environment will be able to access applications in my stream and you'll see these users down the right hand side here. Let's come back to our application and take a look at some of the ClickSense capabilities and also get an idea on what we're actually going to build. Once you click on the ClickSense application, it will open up in its own little cloud instance. Once the app opens, you'll be presented with the application overview. This is where you can see each of the sheets within the application, any bookmarks which have been created, and any of the stories which have been created. We'll come to those later. To start with, let's take a look at the Associations sheet. This is a very simple layout designed to illustrate the benefits of the Click Associative Engine. Here we have presented a range of different fields. Each field is coming from a different table in our data model. If I select one of our customers for instance, such as AutoCollider, instantly all of the fields and all of the values update in this green, white, grey concept. Understanding these colours is key to understanding Click. Any selections that you've made are highlighted in green, so we're actively filtering out our calculations by the customer AutoCollider. All of the values in all of the fields that update and show in white are associated with our selections. So we can see these are the particular product categories that this customer has purchased, and these are the particular products that fall into those categories. Something unique to click is you're also able to see all of the values that are excluded by our selections. This is what's typically left behind in SQL query based systems where you're only getting the data that you actually ask for. The problem there is often this is where the opportunities lay. So we can see with this customer that they're purchasing ladies footwear and men's clothes. But interestingly, they're not purchasing men's footwear or women's clothes. So this represents an opportunity where we can instantly start to follow up and market to this customer to expand our sales footprint. But Click doesn't limit you to just selecting from fields or from clicking on the visualizations. Behind the scenes, we have a large data model 
comprised of many tables and many fields. We can access any of those fields using our, our global search capability. Let's say for instance we'd like to see all products that are boots. We don't have a boots subcategory here. What we can actually do is go up to our global search capability here and type in boots and instantly Click finds all possible values across the entire data model which have the text boots in them. We can see we have a supplier whose name is Niemagen, Niemagen Boots and we also have a range of different products here that mention boots. Let's select all of those products and instantly we're able to see all sales of boots across our data model. This global search capability is extremely powerful and is unique to Click. Let's now move across and take a look at our dashboard sheet. We can select any of the sheets from the drop down dialog in the top right. As we move across to our dashboard sheet, notice that the selections on prior sheets follow us wherever we go. This allows you to constantly follow your nose through the data, looking at each sheet perhaps as a different lens on your data. Your current selections will always remain in focus as you move across those sheets. You can move forward or backward through selections using the buttons up top here, and you can clear all selections using this one. Our dashboard sheet has a range of sales based KPIs including the total number of customers. We can interact with any of the charts intuitively by either moving the slider up and down the axis like so, by selecting individual values, or by make making selections along the axes which we can then move up and down. As I hover over any chart we get the option to explode that chart up to full screen and charts like maps and scatter charts we can use the lasso tool here to select a range of values like so as well as selecting individual values in combination. If I select the exploration menu option our chart opens up to full screen but also gives us a menu where we can play around with the settings of the chart. Within this chart we have a range of different measures that we can choose from. Total margin dollar value, the sales value, or the margin percentage. These can also be selected from the interactive menu here. Within this menu we can also play with the sorting, various presentation options, and things like colors and legends. After making any of those changes we can discard them and go back to the default. If we hover over any charts We'll, you'll see we're able to take a snapshot. Snapshots can then be leveraged within our stories. Snapshots, or rather stories, are a means of building presentations around the insights that we found within our data. Let's take a look at an, an existing story. This story analyzes Australian sales. You can incorporate various information within a story, including charts, text, images, and even embed an entire chart, sorry, an entire sheet. When we embed an entire sheet, the selections that were made at the time that sheet was embedded are reflected within the story. So this sheet is showing sales in Australia for 2017. Let's come back to our dashboard sheet. The final aspect of ClickSense interaction I want to touch on is the ability to create bookmarks. Our current set of selections here, looking at Australia for 2017, might be a set of selections I'd want to come back to again and again. So let's save that as a bookmark. I now have a bookmark for that particular set of selections. Note that if I clear my selections over here, oops, I can now come back to that at any time by looking at my bookmarks and selecting that particular one. I can also access the bookmarks, stories, and our sheets overview from the application overview, as you'll recall from the start of the video. So this concludes our overview of the interactivity of ClickSense. Let's just take a look at the remaining sheets of the application. We're going to build this dashboard sheet here. Our order details sheet. And we're going to build some further analysis as shown on this particular sheet here. 
But the first thing we're going to do is start to put together our data model in the process. We can take a look at the data model we're going to actually build from our data model viewer in the menu as can be seen here. You can see there's a range of different tables, each with a range of different fields inside. If we select a particular table, we can preview the data using the preview pane as shown. If we select a particular field, we can see some metadata about that particular field. Click is quite powerful in terms of its data modeling and extract, transform and load capabilities when building a data model to power a Click application. So that concludes this video. The next step will be to start to build our application from scratch. Thank you for watching.